Liberate. Lignin biorefinery approach using electrochemical flow. What is lignin? Why is it a very good sustainable resource? What has the European Liberate project done? Let's start with a simple question. Do you know the hidden potential of lignin? The paper industry produces around 40 million tonnes of lignin each year as waste, and of which 95% is incinerated as biomass, creating a very negative impact on the environment. This little-known resource hides great potential that needs to be exploited and discovered. But what is lignin? Lignin is a natural polymer and key material in all trees and plants on the planet and it is the second most abundant organic polymer on Earth after cellulose. Lignin accounts for up to 30% of plant mass, has a very complex structure, many aromatic structural motifs and phenolic structures. It is obtained as a sub-product of the papermaking industry and its main use is thermal energy production. It's the world's largest aromatic feedstock currently being burned. What was the aim of the project and what can we do with the lignin? The main objective of the Liberate project is to deliver a pilot-scale electrochemical plant to demonstrate the commercial opportunities of converting low-cost lignin feedstock in high-value biosustainable chemicals. Lignin is going to be our starting material. We have developed a flow electrochemical reactor with a separation process to produce chemicals that will be validated in the project by different chemical industries. Which companies are part of the consortium? The project is made up of 16 technology and innovation companies and universities from the whole European Union. What have been the Liberate processes? In the Liberate project we have focused on three different processes. Each process has different starting materials and products. The first process is the vanillin phenolic process. In this process, the starting material is craft lignin or organosolve lignin. Through an electrochemical degradation with the podic molecule, the process obtains vanillin molecules and a mix of phenolic derivatives. The second process is direct depolymerization. The starting material is organosolve lignin to obtain a mixture of phenolic derivatives. The third process is the propyladibic acid production. The starting material is cyclohexanol that is a subproduct of lignin. Through an electrochemical oxidation, we obtain propylodibic acid and other products. End users. Finally, the end users that have validated the products obtained from the different processes were Perstorp has evaluated the vanillin product from the pilot plant to produce different vanillin derivatives. From mixed phenolic derivatives, Oxiris has evaluated the antioxidant activities of this product and Chimar has evaluated the production of phenyl formaldehyde resins from 3 propyladibic acid Evonik has evaluated the production of polyamides and Megara the production of saturated and unsaturated polyester resin. Discover more about the consortium and results of the project.